This is the Electronic Church of God, Arizona, presenting the Lord's Care Ministry, provided by James Berg, narrated by Forrest Grote. Thank you. Welcome to May 24th, the third work day of the week, the day that we sometimes call as a shopping day, and the calendar says it is a Tuesday. That means it's time also, brethren, to get into the Lord's Care Ministry, a year to keep your eyes on heaven, day 133 of the year 2011. Today we're going to study about becoming real. Becoming real. I suggest that you grab a pad and paper and write the chapter and verses down so that you can go back and study the whole context at your own leisure. You can use the pause button down here in the corner, brethren, to start and stop this video study as we go along so that you'll be able to take your Bible and read right along with us. Well, with that, let's get right on in becoming real. To do that, we'll go to Romans chapter 12, verses 2 through 3. Romans chapter 12, and verse 3 reads, Be honest in your estimate of yourself. There was a small children's book that I used to read to my children titled The Velveteen Rabbit. It's a precious story that speaks volumes about the virtues of true character and authenticity. In one section, we are eavesdropping on a conversation between a new toy rabbit and an old skin horse. As they lie side by side in the nursery, the rabbit asks the horse, What is real? Does it mean having things that buzz inside you and stick out handle? Real isn't how you were made, said the skin horse. It is a thing that happens to you. When a child loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. Does it happen all at once, like being wound up, he asked, or bit by bit? It doesn't happen all at once, said the skin horse. You become. It takes a long time. That's why it doesn't happen to people who break easy, or have sharp edges, or have to be carefully kept. Generally, by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off and your eyes drop out and you lose in the joints and are very shabby. But these things don't matter at all because once you are real, you can't be ugly except to people who don't understand. Take a long look at yourself in the mirror. Are you a real person? Do people see the real you when you greet them? Or are they merely, merely staring at one of the many masks you choose to wear? Is your friendship genuine and real? Faith? Paul encourages to be filled with love that comes from the pure heart, a clear conscience, and a sincere faith. In 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 5. And in Romans chapter 12 and verse 3, be honest in your estimate of yourself, measuring your value by how much faith God has given you. 
he tells the Christians in Rome. An authentic heart and faith is a critical element in the Christian life. The world has its quota of counterfeit people with shallow smiles and false beliefs. The world needs people who are genuine. Real isn't how you are made, said the skin horse. It is a thing that happens to you. And that is exactly what the love of Jesus can do for us. In what ways do you struggle with genuine faith? How or have you allowed God to shape your heart? How can you allow God to shape your heart into a pure and authentic tool for righteousness? Thou sweet Beloved will of God, Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God. And brethren, is your love for the other people genuine or is it put on? Can they tell the difference when you meet them? Change in your heart so that your love shows up. Brethren, if you want to follow the Lord and you love Him from your heart, Get down on your knees and repent for following the tradition of men. They're putting on that false facade. While you're asking for forgiveness, ask also for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of the letter he gave to you. And that letter is found in your own Bible. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.